Welcome to Keysight Education Portal. Today, we will be going through the silicon nail technology for Keysight X1149. Before we start, let us start by discussing the overview of silicon nail technology. What is silicon nail technology? Silicon nail technology enables users to conduct structural tests for non-boundary scan devices by using devices which are boundary scannable. Using this simple illustration, U1 will act as the boundary scan chip whereas U3 will be the non-boundary scan chip. For this illustration, let us consider U3 to be a memory device. The boundary scan tester will generate test patterns by sending out bits and data to the boundary scan chip, U1. U1 will then send these bits in a specific way from boundary scan chip to memory. This will be initiated by the boundary scan tester, X1149. The library model from U3, BSDL from U1, and netlist from PCBA will be the inputs to the software. The boundary scan tester will then compare the results to conduct structural test for U3, the non-boundary scan chip. Now, we will proceed with the silicon nail technology software guide. As shown in the configure chain, we can identify U1, U2 and U5 as boundary scan enabled chips. Knowing that U3 and U4 are non-boundary scan enabled chip, we need to ensure that the checkbox for the silicon nail is checked. We will now talk more about the Flash Programming Software Guide. Firstly, go to Process Outline, followed by Data Preparation and then Define Library Type. Thereafter, click on Import. A Browse for Source box will pop out. Following the directory as shown, click on Flash.absl. After clicking Open, the Library Type will display the contents of the Flash Library as displayed. Select AT24C128BN underscore SOSE for u 3 prom Select AT25DF161 underscore SOIC for U4 SPI flash. Next, click OK. From the library type list, double click on AT25DF161 underscore SOIC. After double clicking, you will be able to edit the file as shown. On a side note, under all devices, tick programming name for both U3 and U4 to it is enabled. Turning on the programming capability ensures that Yuzu can update the program. We will now move to the last stage, Generate Test. To start off, we will first generate test by going to Process Outline, followed by Generation and later Tests. After double-clicking on Tests, we will select the desired test to generate test. After clicking on Generate Slash Compile, we will see the generated test as shown.